challenge, exciting, power, and love. Hey everybody, Jim here, and uh, was out and about tonight in my local area, running some errands, getting some food, and uh, decided I would pop in to the local book off right near the uh, station here where I live and uh, have a look around and what luck uh, I had my camera on me as I usually do so we're just perusing the local book off right now uh, that I've thrown some of these uh, figures in this case there's some anime stuff in there and even some Batman a little Dragon Ball Z action right here then up there up at the top couldn't really make it out it was a spawn figure like from the US of A um, more uh, retro stuff in this case that had not been there the last time I was here but there's some Super Famicom and Famicom stuff in there uh, some Rockman games X and Rockman 7 other various things and PS3 uh, it's a book off so it's not loaded with games uh, like some of the hard offs I go to uh, but as you can see here, they have some pretty cool stuff on the PS3 that's there. Most of it's cheap. PS3 games are especially cheap right uh, cheap right now. Uh, PS3 and, for the most part, PS2 and PS1 as well. Uh, you can see they have consoles here for sale. PS4s and uh, other various things. Vitas. And then, for whatever reason, they just decide to throw a... Some Rushing Beat and Smash Brothers in there. Rockman 2. A uh, Ronald McDonald game. Other various things. And there's like, you know, Switches in there. And mini consoles. And uh, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, at, at the very least, for uh, more recent stuff like this. Like, you can see here, lots of PS4 games. Um, you know, for... Uh, Modern consoles, book offs are usually a pretty good place to go. Uh, you can see they got this uh, the uh, Street Fighter uh, anniversary collection thing they got, and uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Pretty much all of like uh, you know the the most recent stuff. It seems like a lot of people will go buy them and then trade them in. I don't I don't think there's necessarily like an equivalent to like a, a GameStop or something where you can go. Uh, buy a game and then trade it in later or something. So I think a lot of it ends up in uh, book offs like this as we're looking at some 3DS and some Dragon Quest games various Nintendo first party stuff Vita as well um, So yeah, a lot of this stuff they'll have games in here released this year, you know So obviously there are people that go buy the game they enjoy it, and then they trade it in at a, a book off, or perhaps a hard off, for, uh, you know, get a little money back on their um, game they just bought. Because I guess what else are you going to do with it if you don't have any intention of playing it again? Uh, but yeah, Switch games, PS4, uh, good stuff here. Uh, so if you're uh, in uh, Japan, and you're... Uh, Going to be looking for some Japanese Switch and PS4 games. Uh, might be a good idea to check out your nearest book off first. Uh, you're not going to buy anything brand new. But it's pretty much all going to be in like new condition. As we look at some of these DS games. You got Famicom Wars, Mario, Dragon Quest, Phoenix Wright. Dad some uh, GameCube stuff in here as well. Uh, pretty cool. Biohazard games and... Sonic, Naruto, all kinds of stuff. And here we have a handful of Dreamcast games, including both of the Shinmu games, some Sakura Wars, a Comic Party, this is, a, this is a game I covered years and years ago, and uh, Undercover, like just another visual novel game. Dreamcast has a lot of those in Japan, just visual novel things, stuff like that. Uh, Street Fighter 3 Double Impact for 1400 yen. That's a good price on that. 400 yen on Sonic Adventure. 
not too bad. And whatever the hell you are. Uh, looks kind of like a Wipeout. A Wipeout clone. Some kind of future racing game on the Saturn. But I did not pick it up. But this I actually did end up picking up. Um, this uh, boxed copy of DuckTales on the Fam uh, Famicom. Uh, or uh, Wampaku DuckTales. Um, it was there last time I was here. And I passed on it for whatever reason. So today I rectified that. So now I have uh, sitting here with me at home now as I uh, talk over this. Nice copy of DuckTales. In fact, after I uh, finish recording this, I might just uh, give it a quick playthrough. Uh, but yeah, the Saturn, they unfortunately didn't have anything that really stood out to me on the Saturn. You can see we got F-Zero here. They had some, you know, pretty cool Super Famicom and Famicom stuff. Yeah, I wish they would have had more Dreamcast and, and Saturn. Uh, Violence Killer. Which is Turok 2. So, uh... That's a pretty uh, fun name for that game, right? Violence Killer. Very cool indeed. Loose Super Famicom carts, including some, uh... Mickey Mouse and Yu Yu Hakusho. And Roku Denashi Blues. Another game I covered years and years ago. Might be time sometime soon to fish that one back out. And this loose copy of, of Gradius for 500 yen. So that's pretty cool. I didn't need it, but I just, I don't know. I see a Gradius card. And I'm like, oh, let me pick this up. Uh, this modest little selection of Xbox games, you know, as usual. It's just lumped in here with Wii U games and Wii games as well. Not a lot of Xbox going on typically, but uh, what can you do? It was not the most popular console. In Japan, at least. Uh, PS2 games. Lots of cheap stuff here. Most of the stuff on this shelf is like... Three bucks. Five bucks. Um, and this uh, fighting game section here. Because it's split up by genre. But there's Street Fighter Last Blade. Which is very cool. Dragon Ball Z Sparking Meteor. Great game. Uh, God Hand is in the fighting game section. For some reason. And uh, King of Fighters 11, 2003, Kinikuman. Uh, lots of cool fighting games. Uh, always happy to see that at night. Look over here. Uh, PS1 games. And they did have some pretty cool stuff, including R-Types. Which I passed on, because I was already buying a $40 game. I didn't need to get two. Um, but uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Street Fighter 03, my favorite Street Fighter. For 400 yen. And this nice, minty, complete copy of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure for 1,400 yen. That's pretty good. And then they've got some Tomb Raiders. The Tomb Raider games actually published by Capcom in Japan. Uh, Dino Crisis 2, 900 yen. Very cool. Uh, so yeah, even you know, in a book off, you can just come to a uh, uh, oh, Street Fighter 2 movie. Another game. I covered no, a number of years ago and uh, have not revisited since then. Tron Bon. Awesome. It's only 1,800 yen, too. That's that's not bad, actually. And uh, various biohazard games we're going to flip through here uh, for like two bucks. I mean, that's, that's great. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, um, you want to pick up some PlayStation games or, you know, something. I mean, pop into a book off. So you're looking at all this stuff. Most of it, I mean, four bucks, two bucks, uh, three. This Biohazard 3 Last Escape is is uh, 200 yen. And it's complete with, like, spine card and everything. It's in great shape. So PlayStation stuff, typically still really cheap. Puyo Puyo Sun for 400 yen. So, like, this this uh, book off in particular, I mean, if you walked in with, like, 5,000 yen, you could leave with, like... A nice little stack of games. Just just not even leaving the PlayStation. You could walk out of here with Street Fighter games. Biohazard. These Rockman games here. These uh, the Complete Works games are pretty cool. They were re-released on the PS1. Or get yourself a copy of Rockman 8. For 891 yen. X4. X6. Uh, it's all uh, pretty cheap. And these are great games. Um... I mean, if you really you want to pick up some of the classics, stuff like Crash Bandicoot, and Tomb Raider, and 
Final Fantasy, all that kind of stuff. It's all going to be like, you know, a few bucks. Uh, so as long as you're not looking for anything that's like crazy rare, uh, you will be just fine. Uh, and now we're just kind of perusing, going for a walk, just so you can see kind of the, the scope and scale of this book off. These are all CDs, as you can see right here, just wall upon wall of CDs. Uh, from all kinds of genres. So if you're like a physical media collector, you like CDs, uh, book offs are usually good for that. And then we're taking a look at uh, some of the manga they have because it's a book off after all. And uh, they do have a ton of books. So just this is just to give you an idea of what's in the, the book off nearest my apartment. So there's JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Naruto, and Bleach, and uh, just, you know, all the big names, really. Uh, lots of Dragon Ball and Yu Yu Hakusho, City Hunter, right here, which is a you know very cool series of manga and anime. Um, not much of a manga reader collector now. I mean, I, I probably would be if I had uh, space available for a, a manga collection. Um, but if I uh, was someone who, and all that manga we're looking at right here. Uh, that was all 100 yen each. So they're less than a dollar a piece. So if manga is your thing, um, as we look at these cool like JoJo box sets, that's, that's pretty awesome. But if manga is your thing, you can walk into a book off and give them like 20 bucks and walk out with a nice big stack of manga. Anyway, um, that's kind of all I wanted to do look at some games, picked up a pretty cool game in DuckTales, and just sort of uh, walk around, give you the uh, a sense of the book off here. And, uh, well, that's it. Thanks for hanging out, everybody, and uh, listening to my ramblings. I will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.